Hello, this is a demonstration on using timers in the MSP430 microcontroller. In this program, we use a timer to blink an LED at a particular frequency. We change the frequency that the LED blinks with the number of button presses. Initially, the LED does not blink, it stays high. When you press the button once, the LED starts blinking with 1 Hz frequency. When you press the button again, the LED blinking frequency increases to 2 Hz and on the third press, the LED frequency increases to 3 Hz. Pressing the button again will cause the frequency to fall back to 1 Hz and this will repeat. So to write this program, we initially set up the microcontroller, we stop the MOSFET timer, we disable the high impedance mode, we set the input pin which is a button at P2.3, we set it as an input pin and enable the pull-up resistor. The output pin, the P1.0 is set as the output pin and we set it to default high to enable the LED to turn on the LED. We configure the interrupt for the button, we enable the interrupt and we enable high to low edge select and finally we clear the interrupt flags and then we set up the timer. So this is the critical part of initializing the timer. We first clear the timer counter register by toggling this flag and then we set up the timer such that the auxiliary clock is used. Toggling this bit enables the auxiliary clock which runs at a frequency of 32.768 kilohertz. Then we enable this bit which basically performs no frequency reduction. So if we want frequency reduction, we can use ID1, ID2 or ID3. ID1 would divide this frequency by 2. So this is just to emphasize that there is no reduction being done. We can omit this bit and the code will still work fine. Finally, we use the up mode which is done by toggling this bit. So to understand up mode, we can take a look at this diagram. This is up mode. The x-axis has time and the y-axis has the count. So as time passes, the counter increments until it reaches a particular threshold that we set, after which it falls back to zero and starts counting once again. Note that we can set the timer to give out an interrupt whenever this particular threshold is reached. That is what we do after this. Uh, we enable the interrupt and finally we enable the global interrupt. So our main functionality lies in these two interrupt code. This first function changes the frequency at which the LED blinks. To change this frequency, all I do is change this particular threshold. So higher the threshold, lower the frequency because it has to count a higher number to reach this particular threshold. It has to count for longer to reach this particular threshold. I initially set this threshold to be at half the frequency so this counts per second is a variable that has been declared above. This is same as the frequency of the counter. So we want the LED to toggle every half a second if we want the LED to blink at 1 hertz. So that is what this represents. This represents the number of counts it takes for the LED to toggle. So to have 1 hertz blinking, we need counts per second by 2. To have the LED blinking at 2 Hz, we need to have this threshold set to counts per second by 4 and for 3 Hz, we need it to be set to counts per second by 6. Note that every time we press the button, this variable count, count is incremented so that we always switch to different cases as required. Finally, we have the timer interrupt which simply toggles the LED whenever the threshold is reached. This code is run whenever this threshold is reached. Let's debug this code. Now we can see that the LED is currently on. If you press the button now, the LED starts blinking at 1 Hz frequency. If you press the button again, LED blinks at 2 Hz frequency now. Pressing again will cause it to blink at 3 Hz frequency. If you press the button again, 
it goes back to 1 hertz and this repeats.